Let's briefly discuss the retained statement in SAS. Here's a data set where I have five observations and a single variable. Remember this trailing at at symbol means I don't want SAS to run to the next line for the next observation. So I want to get the sums of squares and the sum of the x values in SAS. I can use this program here. It works fine. This is great. For example, say I want to, I'm a statistician and I want to run an ANOVA by hand instead of using the procedure in SAS. Um, so here's another program that you might want to run. It's a different, different way of doing the same thing, except the problem with this is I've started out with a variable and I'm going to set it equal to this same variable plus x. Now, we don't have to initialize variables in SAS before we start using them, but if you don't initialize it, what you have is a missing value. Anytime you do anything to a missing value in SAS, you end up with a missing value. So you can guess what's going to happen with this data set when I print it out. If I add something to a missing value, I've got missing values. Yep, everything's missing. So that's a little bit of a problem. Let's see what we can deal, do to deal with it. Here's data try again. What it has is a retain statement down here. This initializes the values of these variables to something. Some x is going to start out as being 0. Some of x squared is 0. And then my product, I'd really rather initialize it to 1 because the product of 0 and anything is 0. So those of you that are interested in default settings will note that the default is 0, so I don't have to worry about these values right here. Once I try it this way, though, with these values initialized, it works just fine. One last note, remember that if you are only interested in the sums and products at the very end of your data set, you can just use this very last statement here, if last equals 1, that means it's going to delete all those other observations. In other words, if last equals 0, then you're deleting these. And remember this, and equals last. That's the last variable that I just created. It takes on values of 0 unless it's the last observation. So this is a hidden variable that takes on last. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. SAS doesn't print it out, but it's there.